All right then, looks like we are live. Now to advertise the stream. In the meantime, the rest of you can listen to this music. Right, just gonna keep posting these in the various chats. Uh, put this one here. There we go. It's here. It's here. Right, that should be all the promotion I need. Now let's get started. And yes, this la this language is pirate, so... So today I'm just going to be doing the DLC for this, the second DLC. Hidden Bounty! <laughs> uh. Whoa! Ooh. What the? How the hell does that work? I'm experiencing a lot of frame rate dips on this. Don't know why. Okay, this seems easy so far. Right, what's in this chest? Okay, it's a block. If I jump in here, does that- oh! Okay. So then cauldrons are just portals then. That's good to know. Okay. I can pick up the cauldrons, right? Yeah. Okay, then. 
So what do I need? I need this cauldron. The, the, the cauldron containing this room, that is this one, inside this chest, right? Wait, no, not sure that would work. Hmm. What happens if I put this key in here, bring the cauldron outside? If I go in here, does the key remain there? Yes, it does. Alright. Let's take this key, put it in here. <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> Great job, Port Bonky. Absolutely great job. Hmm. Okay, so I need a block in here, but I also need a block in here. If I put this chest, this cauldron in here and just leave it, that probably will just disappear, right? Yep. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. Hmm. Can I reset what's in a cauldron? I don't think so. Ah! Up this guy in here. Wait, what? There's no cauldron back? Okay, well, what if I do this? Does that... No. Okay. These cauldrons are weird. Oh, 
Okay, so flooding cauldrons doesn't really do anything. But flooding chests, on the other hand, does. Hmm. And I can take the chest inside the cauldron. Hmm. <laughs> I, I love that sound. Okay, so I need a block here, a key, and uh... What? Hang on. One, two, three, four. Bloody hell, how many- what? Oh no, if I just flood this place actually... Yes, yes, that seems right. Yeah, I don't think I can make that jump. Which means I'm probably just going to have to take a bunch of these blocks with me, huh? There we go. Didn't even need that key, did we? Alright, what's in here? Chest that contains a cauldron. Oh lords. Okay, let's bring this cauldron out first and see what happens. Wait a moment, hang on, hang on, hang on. What happens if I bring this cauldron inside of itself? Brilliant. <laughs> I uh, just got an achievement for that. Wait a moment. Huh? What? Hang on, hang on. That, that doesn't seem to make sense, does it? I thought that cauldron went into this room but if that huh
Hmm. Yeah, how exactly do these cauldrons work? So this cauldron leads to this room, and this cauldron leads to that room. In a sense, these two cauldrons are linked. And I'm going to need at least two blocks here. Which means I need to go into this chest twice. And since the only way I can re remove a block from this room is to get it out by jumping through a cauldron. Hmm. But I only have the one cauldron that returns to this room, so... I've already gone through a hundred cauldrons? Uh, that was surprisingly easy. So this cauldron goes to an empty room now. Why would I want a cauldron that goes to an empty room? No, that can't be right. And this cauldron goes to a... Wait, what? I thought... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. They both go to this room? But I thought one of them went to itself. That's confusing. Okay, well, what if we do this then? Jump out from here, jump from here, and now if we enter this cauldron... Hey! Okay. Now we just need to repeat that again with this cauldron, right? Yep, that's the right place. Okay, so far so good. And I'm guessing the keys are in this chest. The single key is in this chest. Why would we ever want this cauldron though? Put one of these cauldrons inside the other and see what we get. Take this cauldron now inside this cauldron, and this cauldron inside this one. What do we get now? If we jump in here, shit. That's not what we wanted. Now, was this what we originally had? Oh god.
Yeah, we... No, we do have two of these cauldrons that lead to the same room. Namely, the outside room. Yeah, I have no idea how exactly cauldrons work either, Scar. And it really, really doesn't help that all these cauldrons look exactly the same, so... <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think I just realised I forgot to invite the guest of honour. Hold on, let me just teleport Ponky about that I'm playing this. now if I exit this chest I'm not going to have anything Right, what happens if I do this then? Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Okay, what's in here? Oh! Alright then. What's in here? It's the same room! <laughs> ah, brilliant.
Okay, I somehow need to get two keys. That means I need to go in here, get that other key into a cauldron. That cauldron points to itself. Uh. What? But. Ah! What are the rules for cauldron relinking? This is weird! I don't understand this. Okay, that one's got water in it. And I'm guessing this one will have a key in it. Okay, so this room needs to be flooded somehow. Kind of implies that we should probably bring this chest into this here and flood that. Or we could have brought the cauldron in here and flooded that, I guess. Actually, now that I think of it, that is probably the better idea. Oh, right. So I guess that also means we need to bring this chest into itself. Can we do that? No, I don't think we can. Oh, green cauldrons. Oh, fuck. And I'm pretty sure we'll only need two. Ooh. We'll need to carry them through in a cauldron, though. Okay, so what happens now if I try to remove that cauldron from the room it's in? How am I going to do that? If I jump into here... No, I don't think I can. At least not in that level. Okay, the green chest. Right, what have we got? Okay. Oh lords. Okay, the map for this level is really bloody confusing.
So there's a single key in the outermost layer. How do you get there? You'd have to throw something over to the right and then exit this. Which would probably entail bringing this chest into here. Damn. What's the significance of this being here, though? Okay, why does that happen? I can't make heads or tails of this. Bloody hell. Oh my god, they're throwing jars into the mix! <laughs> this is honestly getting ridiculous! Yeah, feel free to take a to keep count of how many times I say the word ridiculous. And I think this should work.
Oh boy. Also, the waters here appears green. This green stuff smells terrible. Okay. Uh, doubly okay. What? All right. Ugh. Oh Lord, more jars. I mean, I think I only need the one key. No, no, I need that one key and that chest as well. Oops, did not mean to do that. Maybe what it is, maybe it's just that the cauldron links to a specific room. Would that explain all of the shenanigans? No, it wouldn't. First things first, I need to get that key out so I can access that chest again. And then I need to flood that chest somehow. If I pop this in here, what happens? So my guess is that I can't use a cauldron to enter a room I'm already in. 
Does that make any sort of sense? Hmm. Who knows? What happens if I put a cauldron in a jar? What? Oh wait, no, that, that is to be expected. Oh, hold on, hold on. What happens now if I do this? I think I've actually cracked it. Oh, wait. Huh? Or not, actually. Shit. Hmm. I have. I honestly have no idea what's going on in some of these levels. Right, how the hell did I mess that one up? Ah! <laughs> okay, let's think about how we might cause a paradox then. So here is where it introduces green cauldrons. So what happens if we remove a green cauldron from the room it is, from the room we enter it from? Hmm. Somehow I'm not sure we can do that in this level.
And I've just realized what the problem with what I did was. I didn't bring the fucking key. Right, let's try this again, shall we? Yes! Oh my goodness me. Right. I think I can paradox this level, so I'm just gonna try and do that. Oh yeah, these Paradox rooms are brighter now, thank goodness! Okay... Yes, this this works. Wait, how am I going to get out there? I'd need to bring the fan into the pot. Well, cauldron, rather. Ah, shit, I've screwed myself over, haven't I? Hmm... Well... <laughs> I guess I'm gonna take a short break for a moment.
Right. <sighs> Time to get my brain fried by jars. It was this level of the jars, wasn't it? Yeah. How am I going to get to that one? I'd have to bring a green chest in there, and then enter a green chest, bring the green chest down there, jump out of the green chest, or a green cauldron, in fact. Fuck, I think I've broken something. Yeah. <sighs> How am I to get up there even? Wouldn't I need... Yeah, I, I do need a block, don't I? Do I need two blocks? Wait, no, it's not this one. Arg. I need a block to get up there, and then... Let's see, how many is that? One, two... Yeah, yeah I just need a single block, and then I can get that one just by jumping, can't I? Yeah, easily. Okay. So the goal is to get a block into this room. To acquire a block, I have to go through this ridiculousness. So that means I need to bring something in here. Say, a cauldron or, or a key or something. Unlock this door. And then...
The color-coded backgrounds, I think, do help. Wait, how am I going to get that key? Ah! I think this one's too difficult. Can I somehow duplicate this chest? No, but do I need to duplicate this chest? Maybe I don't. Crap, I did not take that into account. Well, this doesn't seem terrible. And currently I'm sort of thinking about how exactly all this works. So, chances are that this cauldron now leads to red. Yep. If I put this in here, this cauldron should also lead to red. Exactly. So, I wonder if I can now reverse the direction so instead of blue, red, black, it goes blue, black, red. The background colours, that is. Blue. That one goes to black. Okay. Well, that one's blue, black, red. What's this one? Blue, red, hmm. Has that helped? Somehow I'm, somehow I'm not convinced it has.
Well, that hasn't helped either. Hmm. Wait, no, this isn't the one I was looking for. Was it this one? No. No. So let's just see if my original hypothesis of their... of considering the room colours works. Actually, I think that's exactly it. Here, the background colors are actually relevant now. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to say, I'm just not make- I just don't feel like I can make good headway on either of these puzzles. Network already seems really damn complicated. Let me just see the achievements list, because... Oh yes, uh, yeah, that's what I was originally going to do. I was originally going to just check every single level, check some of these levels to make sure that the brightness was okay. I think Attic's probably the easiest one to, yeah. Wait, what am I doing? Nope. Well, it's certainly a lot brighter. Yep, much better. Right.
I hope I'm not going to have to break out the notepad for this. I keep losing chests. But not, not chests, cauldrons. Okay, so if that's the case... Yes, now they all cycle black, red, blue. So that's neat. Wait, huh? No, 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 that, that's fine, isn't it? If I can get this guy up here... Hmm, or not. Actually, no, this is exactly what I want, isn't it? If I do this, then now I can jump in here, take this guy out. Alright. Now the next thing I want to do is to get the key out of this. So, how would I do that? Wait, no, that one's easy, isn't it?
Yes! Whew. Oh dear, it's another water level. Let me just check. Okay, so to get here, I need a block here and a block there as well. And to get to that one, I think... How am I going to get to that one? I... I... I don't think I can handle that level. <laughs> Damn it. If I jump into this one, I'll, yeah, I, I do nothing. If I jump into this one, yes. So the, so this chest goes to blue, the other chest goes to red. Hmm. 
If I jump in here, take this one, fling it over there, and jump in there, then I'm up here. Okay. Now, if only I could now swap the positions of these two cauldrons. Can I? What happens if I put this chest over here, and then take this chest, this one in here? Oh, jeez. Oh! But now I can swap the position of these two. That's clever! That's a really good level. <laughs> oh lord, not more. What? It's just a green chest. That's empty. Why would I need that? Oh, right, I see. I'm supposed to throw the green chest over there and then throw it left again. Hmm. And, of course, somehow have a loop in it, which is probably going to involve the cauldrons, isn't it? I think I'm going to leave it here for today. I, I'm not sure my mind's up to it. This is really, really way too mind-bendy. A bunch of these levels have, like, five rooms, so... Uh. Okay, so this one on his three rooms. I might be able to head solve this. Or I might not. How am I going to get up there? What if I left something up on top of this ledge, flooded the room, yeah, if I flood the room, leave something on top of that ledge, get out, unflood the room, and then it'll be dry again, won't it? This is going to be a nightmare. Yeah, I, th I think I'll just leave this for next time, maybe. 
These levels are really brain breaking. However, please do stick around because in a bit I'll be playing a beta version of this game called Peg, which I recent which I was recently asked to beta test, so who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> 